Every one of these murals has one thing in common. Rusty Dusty. When we had our first mural, we had a contest with school kids and they wanted to put a rabbit in there and they named them. So as we go by this mural, this one's an easy one. You can find the rabbit here pretty easy. There's actually two. But look at every mural, there's a bunny rabbit. Up. This is our uh, wall of early explorers. People that have been to the desert and marked, marked territory and showed where, where to go and what to do. The thing he did was when he came through this area, he ran across some guys called the Mojave Runners. You can see those guys right over there. And he asked them, and where he ran across them is a little town called Hinkley, right down the road, close to there. He asked them, what is the name of this place? And they told him, and he couldn't really spell it right, so he shortened it down, and he called it something called the Mojave. Gold in 1848 means that we needed routes through, the, through our area to get the gold out and around. Now, gold in our area was most notably found in the Yellow Aster Mine, which I can show you where it's at. If you go up 395 about a ways, there's a little town called Randsburg. That's where the mine was. The people that started that hot dog stand, ran it for a few years, it's quite popular. But they had another idea, and they wanted to run another restaurant in Yermo. And they started that restaurant, and that became quite popular, and they, it went a little bit bigger, and you probably have heard of it. It's called Del Taco. Okay, the old Spanish trail was blazed in 1829 by, I always hate this name, Antonio Armillo, a merchant from Santa Fe who led 60 men and 100 mules. Now when, today, if we want to build a brand new road, we actually dig a road and we go from point A to point B and we're good done with it. What these guys did is actually took different trails, different animal trails, different Native American trails, kind of stitched them together and made one big trail. Now the Mojave Runners were actually kind of the internet of the day. When you wanted to send a message between one village and the next, you used a Mojave Runner. Now these guys used to run through the desert about 100 miles a day, 100 miles a day, and mostly barefoot through the desert. That doesn't mean they didn't use shoes. As you can see, they wear their shoes around their neck, so if they hit a rough spot, they would put the shoes on. Now Calico was our silver mining town. It started with the uh, start of the Silver King Mine. There was a hundred people living in town at the time, and it grew to about 10,000 at one time. The uh, Santa Fe decided to put a station in our area, and they let it be known that they might be coming through. So Daggett said, oh, well, we'll just buy up all the property where a station come through, and we'll charge the railroad three times as much money as it's worth. We'll make bunches of money. And the railroad told them to go jump. So they went down to Barstow, and there's two versions of this story. One is Barstow found out what Daggett happened to Daggett, so they got smart, and they said, here, you can have the land for free. Or another version is the railroad told Barstow, if you pull the same thing about Daggett, we'll go to Victorville.